This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hey guys, if you ever get this, the file system on your on the system storage is corrupted and will be restored. Press X. Before was there was a circle button to back out of it, and that always worked. But now there's no freaking circle button to back out of it. So when I hit X right here, I'll go ahead and uh, press X. And pulls up this stupid load bar. So freaking annoying. And it seems like it was either a bad update or a bad hard drive or something going on. But it gets stuck at 21% every time. I'm going to show you how to fix that. See, now it's stuck at 21%. Damn you. PlayStation. So, I'm going to try to fix it. First thing I would do if it's stuck there for more than like four minutes or five minutes is you can turn it off if this doesn't work usually you hold the button down and it turns off not in this case because PlayStation 3 wants to look make me look like an idiot so you can just unplug the power cord wait like a few seconds and then plug it back in and you can hold the button down. I mean, if it comes back up and it keeps on doing it, the first beep is resetting the video station. My, then you hold it down, you hold it down. The second beep turns it off, and then you do that again. Press down again and hold it, and you'll hear that first beep is the resetting of the HDMI video settings. Second beep. And then once you hold it down, you'll get to this menu. Alright, once you get to that menu, this is what everyone's been saying. Step, first thing you want to um, start to do is restore default settings, then restore, if that doesn't work, then restore file system, then restore, then rebuild database, and then you can restore PlayStation 3 system. Now, if it keeps on coming up after you do all those things, unfortunately, you have a bad hard drive. I'm gonna delete all your data, by the way. But all your data, you can go use your put in, um, sign up back into PlayStation Network. Once you connect to the internet and sign back into the PlayStation Network, then you can get all your data back. Not your game saves, but all your games and stuff that you bought and up, uh, and all your add-ons that you bought. And then hit X. All right. Hit left arrow. And then hit X. All right. And it should uh, restore it back to brand new settings. So. If it doesn't work, you, uh, your hard drive might be uh, in jeopardy. These hard drives should last over five years. I think uh, their estimated life on them is 10 years on the hard drive. It, but if you drop it, they're shock sensitive. Then it's bad. Alright, have it plugged in. Once you have it plugged in, go ahead and hit the center button. And just go through the steps. Hit X. And then it's going to reset the. Yeah, see, I got 1080p. Hit left. And then go ahead and X. Hit X. Just go ahead and to the right, to the right. X. X. Go to the right. I got a wireless connection, go to the right. You want to scan, go to the right. Go ahead and put in your web key on your wireless router. 
then go ahead and hit X to save it all. And then bada bing bada boom, you're back online playing games. But all your crap got deleted. I think it's a bad update I got. I keep on getting bad updates. Like at least once every three, four months. Alright, so from this point on, what you want to do is right here, you want to sign back up, hit X. Make sure you're online, connected to the internet, and then choose existing account. Hit X. And then put in your email address and your password for your email address. Now, if you don't know what email address you used, if you bought any kind of add-ons or bought any kind of games using the PlayStation Store network, you would have that in your inbox or your spam. So check your inbox and your email address or your spam and it'll say sent to from PlayStation Network and that would be like your receipts that you bought like all your add-ons or songs if you had like Guitar Hero or whatever alright if you forgot your password click on forgot password and it's gonna email you to reset your password go back and let's say you have like gmail.com or yahoo.com go check your e inbox and your email and that's how you're able to reset your password. All right, so once you do all that good stuff, I'm gonna show you how to find it and download all your add-ons. Okay, now after you put in your username and password on uh, your PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Store network account, all right, we wanna go sign back in. And then right here, just sign in, hit X. Now after you sign in, go ahead and hit X in your account on your PlayStation Network. Go left and right, right here, and then go right here and hit X. And then right here, it says account information, redeem codes, transaction, uh, where is it? Right here, I think it's right here, transaction on that X and then require password for checkout no automatic funding transaction history download list right there you want to click on that hit X and this pulls up all your things you downloaded over the years see it's everything I downloaded so some of the stuff is free some of the stuff you downloaded and uh, you bought like this one I bought that for my son so I could download that and he'll get it back that I download that for a rock band I paid for that one so I download that I will get that back now once you download that watch it hit X alright now it's gonna uh, activate it and then download it see right here Now after it says install complete, hit the back button. Okay? Now you just go through all your list. Okay. And I got 325 items over the last three years. Now to get your trophies back, just go ahead and hit X on your name. And then it'll start sinking in. So they'll get collect all your trophy lists because all your trophies are stored at the PlayStation servers on their hard drives, not actually on your PlayStation 3 hard drive. And that's how you do it. That's how you recover recover from system file corruption. All right, which is uh, could be a number of things: a bad shutdown if you had like you know power power uh, outage, or a bad you know update from. Uh, Sony could be a number of things but anyway that's how you're able to do it so it's always a good thing to like save up all your game day data I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. all right and uh, I want to note that there's another way to get into it if your downloads games are not playing or your discs are not playing or not reading um, you can go to system settings right here hit X and then restore PlayStation 3 system right here okay 
you want to go ahead and hit X and go into that. But remember, always back up your data. All right, so whatever video files you have or whatever, just go ahead and back that up onto one of these guys. So back up all your data and folders right in here. So when you reformat it, you have it all stored right here, and then you just plug it in and hit triangle, and I'll extract it all to back to your PlayStation 3. All right, guys, good luck. You'll need it.